we have found new choirs from the Philippines. And that's that's beautiful. Dude, these ones have a Spanish name though. They're called Los Cantantes de Manila. And uh -huh. they do choir arrangements okay. of pop songs. I love that. What the fuck? Sorry, the sopranos are... The sopranos gorgeous. You know what that sounded like? You seen that meme of like, when you can't reach the high note, so he takes helium. Uh, right? <laughs> I have seen it. <laughs> his awesome, awesome. Oh my god, he is Filipino. <laughs> Get fucked, Whoa, that's the best that cover of this song so I've ever heard. Goosebumps though, what the heck? Mate, this is this is as if when Why you go up so to clear? heaven. Uh, also, it's really interesting how Why are they so clear? Usually like, classical sing well they're not classical singers. Yeah, they, I guess are. they are, yeah. Uh they have classical techniques. Correct. So. so I guess classical singers really struggle, usually really struggle with pop. Um and I get the feeling though. The closest that, thing that you can get is lyrical, like this. Right? Yeah, but if they do pop, you'll see. Okay. Trust me. Okay. God lyrical damn. approach. Yeah, They're yeah. not doing pop here at all. <laughs> yeah. Say she could be a balladeer, she wanted to. She could. She yeah, could. and he could be pop if he really he, wanted to. If he wanted I'm to. I'm telling you, these guys can do pop better than most pop artists. I'm rooting for that guy. As well. As well. <laughs> Who is singing? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's just that soprano is gorgeous. God damn, that woman projects.
Yeah, she is Dude, a, she is a fucking she's monster, a mate. <laughs> nah, bro, nah. Oh. went gospel now <laughs> it's incredible though she is an absolute she's a monster. beast she's actually you like were a right because she she was pulling back that lyrical telling thing you so good and i was like wow i just cannot see it and now oh, here I, she is and i think they have a ton of market appeal for those reasons because yeah, I, I can I, see I, that i think they could be very mainstream I because totally the only it. criticism perhaps of quite choral arrangements is that they have their crowd mm. uh or they have like specific arrangements of specific songs that then go viral. But I think with this guys, because you have pop singers in in a in a classical and lyrical setting that can do all three of them, they're very adaptable. You, you can have a you can have a great priority. I agree. Los cantantes de vanilla. You know? <laughs> Los cantantes de vanilla. <laughs> Who the heck was doing the this dance? Los cantantes de Manila. Cantantes de Manila. There's more. Yeah, they have. They Show have me more. more. Michael Jackson losing his head in the <laughs> studio, and then he could have just called the Los Cantantes de Manila. You could have just called the Los Cantantes de Manila. It's as great as the other one. Hey, she's a beast. Yeah, she plays it down. She's a beast. See, so this is quite interesting and I hope a ton of, uh, obviously we know artists watch these types of videos and breakdown of vocal coaches and all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, not that we sort of like to go down that angle because I, I think that also makes you like, uh, it boxes you because what, what if you don't want to learn about singing, you just want to understand specific stuff. Regardless, obviously we have Baleska who's an expert <laughs> at singing. But um, for, for so in, in pop singing uh, and pop idols, pop stars, pop singers in general, um, when, they, when they go into notes, where they have to exert more effort uh, or their higher notes. What you notice a lot of the time in pop is that they do the opposite of what classically trained singers do or lyrical based singers do. Um, I, I guess this three girl, especially her, she she is very much a, a chameleon, someone a master of many things, which is hence why we call her a monster because she's a titan. Yeah, that's impressive. And notice that in this girl, specific girl, during the most difficult parts, I don't know why I'm doing Valeska's job here, but I guess this is good because I'm sort of putting my understanding of it from a sort of, I am not a singer, I'm a musician, not a singer. So, and then Balik can correct me obviously if I'm wrong. But instead of reaching forward or up 
or or he's straining or even crouching like they, they they have some really bizarre habits pop idols for some fucking reason i guess bad habits and and they 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 were things that uh because how to work with them yeah and also because of the demands of the songs uh their demands aren't usually as high so maybe if you do that wrong in one song it's much better if actually for 90 percent of song you just get you know clear tone you're in tune happy days and if you, you know, you fucking have your bad habit there for 5% of the time, that usually goes past. It, it, it sort of goes through the cracks, if you like. Yep. But in her case, and you'll see this in, I, I mean, she, she's incredible. The, all of them are incredibly disciplined. The, the, the technique display is absolutely impeccable. Instead of going forward or reaching up, they reach back. Correct. Which is wild to see. Yes. And that's what Valesco is about anchoring. Yeah, the it's, anchoring is insane. It's as if, if I'm not mistaken, they, they, they engage their latissimus dorsal, which Correct. is like their, their dorsal fucking fins, if you like, your dorsal muscles. Uh, amongst amongst another, uh, a bunch of other muscle groups in the back. So, so they make starts, that Dorito shape. <laughs> yeah, it, starts, it actually starts from uh, beneath your shoulder blades. So uh, instead of like pulling up and like pushing the notes back and tensing up, you're actually moving the muscles down this way that so you see how the the abdominal wall gets released but you have all of this engagement and so the note naturally has nowhere else to go but to the back of the soft palate so like the back of the head and it creates this really big nice and resonant space in the throat um it's just so beautifully exposed here if yeah. you look at it here further back as far back as you possibly can go like especially you... in the bigger in the bigger the noise that you're trying to make the bigger the space that you want to create inside of the uh, inside of the mouth so the soft palate rises that you create a, a bigger engagement towards the back of the muscles you, your neck muscles engage a lot it's actually really beautiful like if you had a line she would be leaning this way like Correct. she would be back it's up but her her uh, actual her weight distribution wouldn't be sitting on her heels. Her weight distribution would be very central. So her the sole of her feet would be very well distributed. So she wouldn't be leaning towards her heels, if that makes sense. Whoa. And if you look at her abdominal wall, it's super released. And you can actually see it. The, the, the standing, each singing phrase. Ooh, I swear to God, those sopranos are godsend. Yeah, the altos are putting in work. She's also stunning. What a Get flex. fucked. You, what a flex. None of you know how to sing. <laughs> Only Los Cantantes de Manila <laughs> know real. how to sing. Let us see that was Los Cantantes de Manila. I fucking love her name. God show me all the love. I think I just found the best choir in the Philippines. And dude, there is a ton. I love the Madrigal. My, the Madrigals will always be my, my <laughs> fucking... One, but yeah. I tell you, for pop covers and everything else los cantantes de manila <laughs>